I think uh, 2008 was a very good year for Program 1, especially all the three major stresses. We've had a good accomplishment uh, for drought, submergence, and salinity. We have very good uh, lines, good breeding lines and varieties that have uh, done well under field conditions. So I really expect uh, that uh, the, the achievements in 2008 will, will um, carry on very, very nicely into 2009 where we're doing seed production and uh, uh, distribution of some of the, the good materials. Um, for submergence, of course, we've had this uh, in the development stage for several years now. So I think that um, we got a lot of confidence from 2008 in terms of the performance of the uh, sub, sub one lines in the farmer's fields. Uh, for uh, salinity, of course, we also have very good varieties that um, have been performing well and spreading among the farmers. Uh, but I was particularly pleased about the progress in drought where we could uh, demonstrate that some of the drought tolerant varieties are performing very well under submergence prone, I mean under drought prone conditions. So these drought tolerant varieties I think are going to have a lot of potential because that's really one of the major, probably the major stress for the rainfall environments. So I think all this is stimulated again by, by uh, Program 1. Uh, you see even in the attitude of the, the, uh, the uh, donors, you see, if you see the report of uh, uh, Bill and Melinda Gates uh, Foundation which came yesterday, again the Program 1 is the main highlight of their achievements for the development programs. So I think really uh, 2008 is a milestone for uh, Program 1 and there's a lot that have started to start moving out and probably you can see uh, much more exciting progress in the coming years. Uh, beside the progress in uh, variety of development, I also want, want to stress the progress that has been made and demonstrated and validated with farmers in management. This time, our partners are not only the research organization as in the past, but even the state governments, developmental agencies, even federal government, they are all excited that by replacing this variety, bringing this variety into cultivation, productivity in this stress prone area can be enhanced because they have been working since last several years. Even there had not been any impact of green revolution in this stress prone area that was restricted to only the irrigated system. So there is very wide scope and because of this actually our national partners are quite excited and they are collaborating us in whatever way it is possible.